Hello and welcome to today's videos on understanding, creating and managing volumes types in dynamic disk. Before starting this VM, already I attached one additional virtual hard disk to this computer and let's see the disk management. So just click on online and now initialize the disk. It will ask you specify the partitioning style and we are going with a GPT. Click on OK and now the disk type is basic so let's first convert the disk to dynamic disk and we want to convert disk 1 click on ok and now this disk is converted to dynamic disk type now when you create a new partition in windows server 2016 with the dynamic disk you will get five options first simple volume second span volume which uh, you can uh, span across multiple hard disk then third strip volume fourth mirrored volume and fifth new red 5 volume which is currently not available because if you are going to create a red 5 volume you require at least minimum three dynamic disk we have a total five options five types of volumes you can create in dynamic disk so first of all let's understand how to create a simple volumes and what is a simple volumes in a dynamic disk Simple volumes are the dynamic disk equivalent of the primary partition and logical drives found on the basic disk. When creating a simple volumes, keep certain points in your mind like if you have only one dynamic disk, you can create only simple volumes. You cannot create a strip, mirror or span volume. Second, you can increase the size of simple volume to include unallocated space on the same disk or on a different disk. The volume must be unformatted or formatted by using NTFS file system. By extending the simple volumes on the same disk, the volume remains a simple volume and you can still mirror it. But if you extend a simple volume to include unallocated space on a other disk, on the same computer that will create a span volume so that time your simple volume will be converted to span volume one more thing which you have to remember is that if the simple volume is the system volume or the boot volume that time you cannot extend the simple volume so let's create a new simple volume on this dynamic disk let's just right click on it and select new simple volume Click on next. Here you can specify the uh, size of your partition which you want to allocate from your hard disk. So for this demonstration, I am going to specify 100 GB. Click on next. Now you have to assign a drive letter or path so you can access from your computer. So let's assign the drive letter J. Okay, so click on next. So on format partition, you can specify the file system. So here we have a by default NTFS file system. The allocation unit will be default and you can specify this volume label. So for this demonstration, I'm going to specify simple wall. Okay, perform a quick format and click on next. Click on finish. And here we go. Now it's formatting the partition. And that's done. Now we have a simple volume on our dynamic list. So this is the way how we can create a simple volume. If you want to extend, you can uh, select extend volume and then click on next. You can specify the size. Let's uh, specify 10 GB. Click on next. Click on finish. Okay. One more thing which I want to show you. Uh, let's create uh, another partition of 100 GB. Click on next, 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 next and finish. As you are seeing, we have a simple volume. And we have a new volume D. Both are a simple volume. So as you are seeing, we have unallocated space just beside the this partition. So if we extend this partition, the time it will take a size from this unallocated space. But if we try to extend this simple volume, that time it also take a size from this unallocated space. That means your J drive is also there. But if you extend up to additional further size, that time the size will be taken from this location. So let's see. Click on extend volume, click on next, now specify the size, let's extend up to 10 GB, click on next and click on finish. So now we have a J volume over here as well as we have a J volume over here and in between them we have a new volume that is D drive of 100 GB. Now if you delete this volume that time this will also delete this J drive. 
if you open a my computer that time you can only see two partition j and d this two partition is now combined together now let's try to delete this partition and if we delete this partition that time remember this portion will be also deleted click on yes and that's it the partition is deleted from here as well as from here and now we have only detail so this is the way how we can create a simple volumes in a dynamic disk and uh, while creating a dynamic disk make sure you have a proper planning to create and manage the partition that's it for this video demonstrations thanks for watching this video